bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Good morning, friends. Today, we are decorating for Christmas. Sherry, what have we done so far this morning? We took down all the fall stuff and got that put away and we pulled out all the Christmas stuff. Both of our Christmas trees are out. All of our Christmas decorations are out. We're gonna put Christmas carols on and hopefully in just a few hours, this place will be transformed into a winter Christmas wonderland. Even though almost all of our snow has melted and it does not look very wintry outside. This is super rare for Alaska. We're usually like full on winter at this point. So it might not be winter outside, but after today it is definitely going to be winter inside. All right, so we have the space cleared where the tree is going to go. So now I'm gonna start putting the tree together. The tree is now up. Obviously we need to fluff it out and everything but that's a pretty good first step. What do you think, Sherry? That's good. And we also put our Christmas garland up there. Only 900 more things to put up and then we're done. <laughs> what are you doing, Sherry Beth? Fluffing the tree. Fluffing the tree is the worst part of decorating for Christmas as far as I'm concerned. What do you think? Yeah, but it has to be done. It does. This is one of my favorite Christmas pieces we have. The There's no place like home for the holidays and then a photo of Sherry and I from Christmas two years ago at Disneyland. All right, friends, we are about to start decorating the tree with ornaments. But if you've watched our Christmas vlogs before, you know that we don't have just random ornaments. This is kind of a big deal to us because every time we travel, any adventure we go on, the thing that we bring home is an ornament. So basically decorating our Christmas tree every year is a walk down memory lane as we remember the places we've gone, the travels we've had, the adventures we've had together. And so we wanted to show you this year are the new ornaments that we've gotten over the last 12 months. So you guys, here are the new ornaments on our tree that we are adding this year. Look at this Baymax ornament. Oh my gosh, that one is for me obviously. This one with Pascal is uh, from Tangled. You can see the lantern lights up. How great is that? And then we have the Pixar Fest ornament from our Disneyland, our Pixar Fest trip earlier, Pixar Fest trip earlier this year. This is from the Mexican Riviera cruise that we did earlier this year on The Wonder. We found this ornament at a native arts market earlier this year and we absolutely love it. It was made by a native craftsman. This is seal right here on the outside. You'll see with the Big Dipper, the Alaska uh, outline of the state, this is beautiful. We got this ornament in Los Cabos, Cabo San Lucas on our Mexican cruise. We liked it, it just felt fun and had like a lot of those really vibrant colors on it. And then some of you may remember uh, earlier this year for my birthday, we actually flew to Portland, Oregon and went and saw Hamilton. And while we were there, we got this Hamilton ornament. I really, really love this one. This is an ornament we got at Universal uh, just last month on our trip for the Hogwarts Express. We really love this. It's like the London to Hogwarts ticket. And then we got this one from Walt Disney World, you can see it spins like that. This ornament from Castaway Key, we actually realized we did not have a Castaway Key ornament and relax, unwind, enjoy is exactly how we spend our time on the island. So we loved this one. And then this year is the 20th anniversary since the start of Disney Cruise Line. So we had to get a 20 magical years ornament. You'll see anchor on the back and uh, Disney Cruise Line logo and Mickey and Minnie on there. Sherry, we've had a pretty fun year. Super fun year. And for those of you who don't remember, we have two trees in our living room. We have this small one here and then the big one back there. This is our Disney tree with all of our Disney ornaments. And then this one is kind of our main Christmas tree where we just put a bunch, uh, well, basically all of those on there. Decorating the tree and pulled out this ornament that one of you guys actually sent us last year. One of our viewers who lives in Wales sent this. It is a Welsh Christmas greeting. So thank you. It is going back on our tree again this year. I think our Christmas tree is totally decorated and I absolutely love it. But Sherry's over here still working on our Disney tree. Sherry, how's it going? Good. Going pretty well? Yeah. You guys, I think the house is done. Quick tour here at our fireplace. You'll see all of our stockings hung by the, well, fire great with care. You'll see on our wreath here, we put some berries to give it a little bit of Christmas spirit. 
We have a chair pulled out here with some of Sherry's Christmas Mickey ears, some of our favorite Christmas books down here, and then just little Christmas touches everywhere. Here's our Disney tree. I really love how this turned out. Lots of fun ornaments on there from, dif from different Disney trips. And down here, you'll see Sherry has the princesses, Sherry has Mickey, and back in there, we have the Disneyland candy cane from Christmas two years ago. And of course, we have our nativity scene out because it is Christmas, and this is the reason we celebrate. Right. You'll see here at the top of the stairs we have garland, we have space for all of the Christmas cards we receive, little Christmas knickknacks, more garland down the stairs. And then our Christmas tree. I really love how it looks this year. It was so fun decorating because we got to talk about all of our different travels and adventures like when we went to Paris and Ireland celebrated Thanksgiving last year in Colorado, and just so many great memories as a couple together. Definitely decorating for Christmas, one of my favorite, favorite things. And also you guys have to see this. I didn't even know that Sherry was going to do this. Check this out. Here in our living room, we have this chalkboard and we change different sayings throughout the year. You guys, this is my favorite one Sherry has ever done. May your days be merry and bright. Look how good of a job she did on that. Sherry, you finishing off a sugar Christmas cookie? My coffee. And your coffee from like six, six hours, hours ago. ago. <laughs> That's one thing about decorating for Christmas. It always takes longer than you expect. Uh, we've been at this for quite a while. We took a couple breaks. Didn't like rush through it at all. I will say though, it feels so nice to have it done. All of the decoration boxes are put away. So like now we just get to enjoy our home decorated for Christmas. How do you think it went this year, Sherry? Good. Are you happy with how our house looks? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for Christmas? I'm ready for Thanksgiving. Have you bought any presents for me yet? No. Why? Spoiler alert, I have already bought presents for Sherry this year. What? You guys, that is where we're gonna end today's vlog. Thanks for hanging out with us on this amazing Sunday as we decorated for Christmas, got our house into the holiday spirit. We love you, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on Wednesday with the next Leg Life video. Okay, so quick addition to the end of the vlog. Uh, Caleb and I just got back from going to Costco doing our shopping for the week. And the last time we were there, we noticed a train set, like a Christmas Polar Express train set. You guys, Sherry has always wanted a train that goes around the bottom of our Christmas tree. Well, we came home and looked at a bunch of them online and then went back to Costco today and this train set was on sale. So check this out. It is a Polar Express Lionel train set. I think it looks pretty awesome. So we're gonna put it together and see how it looks under the tree. Well, Sherry, you finally got your train around your Christmas tree. Do you love it? This is Missy's first introduction to the Polar Express. She <laughs> doesn't know how she thinks. Missy. Oh, nope. nope, not a fan. <laughs> Missy's not a fan. Well, Missy might not be a fan, but I think you are. I am. I love it. <laughs>